Welcome, welcome. I was going to say after that bass track, welcome to Glastonbury, everyone. <laughs> welcome to Wildfire Stories, pass it on. So over the last four years, Wildfire has become part of the fabric here at Cannes as we celebrate advertising ideas that spread and sell and weave themselves into the fabric of popular culture. In 2006, we began Wildfire by looking at the new ways in which brands were blurring the lines between advertising, entertainment, and experimenting with emerging technologies. Then we looked at branded utility, you know, the shift from ads into acts, moving away from messages that consumers ignore to brands providing services that people actively embrace and seek out. Last year, we looked at creativity through a human lens, encouraging the industry to think less in terms of consumers and demographics and more about conversation and relationships with people. So hello everybody, I'm Paul Kent Robertson, co-founder of Contagious in London. And this year in Wildfire, we're going to be focusing on something as old and as complex as the human race itself, the art of storytelling. So we started working on this presentation probably about two months ago, um, and we're actually thrilled, probably more relieved, to report that about 90% of the case studies that we referenced have already picked up lions this week, or are looking very, very likely to pick them up on Friday when the film um, shortlist kicks in. So um, there's some really, really good stuff to go through today. What we're going to do is start by looking at the sort of historic, creative connections between storytelling and advertising. And then we're going to showcase some of the most compelling branded stories from the past year or so. And then we're going to wrap up with a special election to determine the best brand story in the world. So yes, <laughs> we're going to ask you, dear audience, to help answer the question. In your opinion, which brand has the best story? So to sort of speed things up, over the last few weeks, um, Contagious has polled our global audience of agencies, advertisers, bloggers, and so on, to help us build a shortlist of the strongest and most compelling brand narratives. So, here are the results. Top six brands, no surprises necessarily. Um, Apple, Virgin, Guinness celebrating its 250th anniversary this year, Coca-Cola, Converse, and McDonald's. So, we've also... Um, felt that we should have a few honourable mentions. These are the ones that really got votes, got people, um, conversations started, some real fans for, you know, um, idiosyncratic brands like Birds, Burt's, Bees. Um, obviously, Jack Daniels, fantastic heritage of advertising, Nike and Adidas, still battling it out here, um, Ben and & Jerry's, and obviously, you know, Obama. So those are the honourable mentions that you can't vote for, but we just felt they deserved a bit of a credit. Very strong stories, every one of them. So how, what we're going to do here is, um, how many of you here are on Twitter today? Great show of hands, excellent. So you guys, if you use the hashtag wildfire stories, then please just, all you have to do is the name of the brand that you want to vote for. If you have a mobile phone, the signal here is good, so no worries, it's plus four four seven eight zero nine five one zero nine zero three. And what we're going to try and do is... Make sure that you get vote, starting to vote now so that we can start assessing throughout um, the seminar. And the brands just remind you, Mini, Apple, McDonald's, Coke, Virgin Atlantic, or Guinness. We can't promise you a personalized message from Barack Obama, but you can be assured that every vote will count. We've actually got some roving reporters down on the ground throughout the seminar collating the votes live, led by um, my very, very able deputy, Jess Greenwood, at the back there, so um, she's going to be sort of tracking the live Twitter feed, the SMS votes, and all that kind of stuff, so we'll visit her in the middle of the ceremony. Okay, so, got that bit. I'm delighted to now welcome on stage Mark Giusti from Leo Burnett Worldwide. He um, is a Group Chief Digital Creative Officer, and Kevin Flatt, all the way from Chicago, Executive Creative Director of Leo Burnett's Digital Practice. So having seen the list of other speakers appearing on stage here in Cannes this week, we'd like to point out the following. I don't believe that the three of us would ever be mistaken for the Secretary General of the United Nations. And the last time I checked, none of us have been appointed the Chief Executive of Google. 
nor have we fronted an internationally successful rock band. However, we do know a thing or two about storytelling, and more importantly, advertising. Try asking Roger Daltrey about reach and frequency, and he'll presume you're offering him a groupie. Now, if everybody's sitting comfortably, let's begin. Mark? Thanks, Kevin. So whether simple or, or elaborate, advertising always tells a great story. Uh, we're skilled in the art of narrative. We know how to create everything from beloved characters to complex, compelling storylines. What sets ad agencies apart, of course, from any other business really in the world, is that precious ability to distill complex business propositions, difficult enough to say actually, uh, and product benefits into simple, single-minded thoughts that then serve as the catalyst for creative stories and human connections. The advertising industry has always walked a delicate line between the reflection of popular culture and indeed the creation of it. For this seminar, we look at the evolution of narrative over the years and the various ways the advertising industry has tapped into those forms of communication in order to sell products and, of course, in this time, uh, help keep our economies growing. <laughs> 